Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Welcome back to another lesson in our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So in this lesson, we're gonna look at the position settings. Now, these can be really helpful in Divi. Uh, we can make objects, um, modules or rows stick to the top when we scroll, like the menu. Uh, we can have things like a list that stays on the side as we're scrolling down. Um, some of these can be really helpful um, especially as we're getting into some more of the advanced design styles um, that you can do in Divi. All right, so let's take a look at these and see what we can learn. Another great feature in the advanced tab of any section, row, column, or module is the position setting. And the position property specifies, you know, what type of positioning that you want for that element. And the options that we have um, I'll just show you, we're in here under position. The options here are relative, absolute, and fixed, okay? And then um, depending on what you pick, like it will have this offset. So if I would say absolute, you know, we'll get these different offset points and where we want it to be positioned, okay? Let's put that back for now and we'll go through some examples. So the one that I thought of is a menu so let's go ahead and create a menu so first of all we're going to add a section and a row menu and then let's say i want this to be um, nice and dark okay so then Of course, the menu, you need to make it transparent and then make the text something like white. Okay, so here I have my menu. So I want this to be at the top of the page. So you could go in here to the advanced tab, to position, and say absolute. Okay, and there it is. It's at the top. It's fixed absolute at the top. Now, let's say you wanted it to be fixed, meaning that when we start scrolling, it stays fixed. See that? See how it stays fixed? Now we already have the default menu. You would wanna be doing this type of thing in the theme builder, but the point is here, you can have it stay fixed like that, but look how it's not, look how it's um, not being visible when that goes up. That's because of the Z index. So let's just change the Z index to something a little higher. That way when we start scrolling up, um, you'll still see it. So the Z index is, think about it when you're, the direction of the axis facing you when you're looking at your screen. So it's like coming towards your face when you make the number higher. Um, so that's the stacking order. The Z index is the stacking order of elements um, and they that works along with position. So why I'm showing this is because you might want this to be fixed or not fixed on certain devices. So here you can see we have our responsive breakpoints. So here I am on desktop and let's say I wanted that menu to be fixed there, but I don't on phone, so you could change it. So let's say on phone, you could just put it back on default and, it's, and um, yeah, that's how it works. So this is a really good use case for how to use position. And there are a lot more use cases for position, but a lot of them are, are advanced. I mean, think about it, we're in the advanced tab and I'm not gonna go over you know, how to use CSS because a lot of these position things, um, it's taking CSS and adding it to the builder and making your life easier if you're a designer that's using CSS. Overall, this is one way you can make things responsive in Divi. Like let's say you had a menu, or not a menu, I'm thinking more of like a table of contents or something. In fact, I'll show you what I did. So here I have um, my freebie, my 101 um, menu animations that's on our website that I know a lot of people love, so that's really cool. But what I did was, there's so many, I mean, it's 101. So I, I created this, I think it might even be a text module, and I just created it with links to different sections, and then I have it fixed here. So you can see, I set the position to fix, and then I added some spacing. So it's fixed to the top and to the left, okay? No matter where I scroll, it's fixed. So you, there are use cases for position. Um, and then let's say on mobile, you don't really want that to be there because it would be right in your face. 
So again, a use case for how to set that and have it apply for certain devices when you're making your website responsive. Okay, so that's a look at some of the position settings in Divi. So again, be sure to be using these and thinking of your tablet, desktop, phone, um, like even for that header, you know, do you want it just sticky on one device and things like that. So it's really cool what you can do with some of these settings for making your sites responsive. All right, we'll see you in next lesson.